Beautiful Sagittarius, this is Tammy with Spot on Psychic Readings and I'm coming in to do your weekly reading and we'll see what's coming up and Chippy's here to help me out, my little psychic assistant. So I'm going to give him a cookie, let him take his nap while I do your reading. So Sag, let's see, you know I usually do your reading uh, with the star seed cards first and regular tarot but I've had some requests uh, for a love reading so I'm going to do um, I'm going to do a love reading first and then we'll go into the star seed. So I'll try to remember to time stamp it, but if I forget, um, zoom forward about 10 minutes, okay? Because I'm going to, I am going to look into love first because somebody did request that, okay? So Sagittarius, let's see what's coming in the love department. I'm going to look at regular tarot and then switch over to these relationship cards, the Mystic Rose Oracle, okay? So I hope you guys are doing great. I'm shuffling your energy into the cards. Whoa, did you see that? <laughs> right now, that one wants to talk to you. Something really sudden is going to happen. That's Eight of Wands, you guys. Let's see. All right. So we have got the Sun. This is what flipped out, Eight of Wands, okay? That means something's fast happening in the love department, Sag, okay? Oh, here's another fast card. Look at this Knight of Swords coming out. Two fast-moving energies right away, and the fast card flipped out. <laughs> okay, let's see. We're asking about love for Sagittarius. And I am pulling these by feel for you tonight. Then right there, there we go. And what you don't see coming, anything else? Nope, okay. All right, we're gonna start right here and see what we've got here, Sag, for you, okay? So first of all, what's really significant regarding love is, first of all, there's a lot of happiness around you at this time. We'll see how it pertains to love, but there's a lot of happiness um, for some of you there's even a potential marriage either there already or on the horizon, a lot of happy family and things like that. Or you're just very happy in your own energy at this time, okay? Now, the thing that's crossing you is I feel like, <clears throat> or challenging you at this time, something's gonna come rushing in. And again, <laughs> this rushing in card came flipping out this Eight of Wands. And this is something that's gonna happen really quickly. With this being in the challenge position, this could be a trouble spot. This could be something that causes an uh-oh kind of moment, all right? At least temporarily. We'll clarify and see why that's coming in, but sometimes that can be um, something that just comes in so fast and then leaves again. It's interesting on this particular card, there's an eagle up there. That may be a totem for some of you or something particularly meaningful for you or your person of interest. Okay, because it really caught my attention, you know. Something's going to happen fast here, Sag. So let's see. Um, <clears throat> look at this really beautiful deer, okay, or buck, I should say. So here we've got Ace of Pentacles. Now there's something here about resources with your love interest coming in. And I just feel like this is something about um, either your person um, is going to you know, has money or just had a windfall or sees you with a windfall or something like that, okay? This is a really, really positive card of success. And I'm feeling like, you know, where it pertains to love, there's something there about this bringing you what you need. This is bringing you, um, like filling in the blanks for you in a lot of ways and bringing you a good foundation. And it's not just, a f I mean, it's a foundation of money. Obviously this, you know, coins card is a, you know, it's a card of money. But it has to do with resources and um, foundations, good foundations, and also it can have to do with a windfall. You may feel like when you meet this person, it's like um, you've won the jackpot, <laughs> you know, that kind of thing, all right? So we've got something about, right next to that, something about loss and moving away. So th it's interesting here when I look at this, I feel like for some of you, when I look at this whole reading together, okay, we've got five of pentacles and six of swords here. Something about loss, moving away from something, 
escaping something that felt abusive and that sort of thing. And it could have been a third party situation, which is showing up as this three of cups that maybe, maybe we didn't see this coming, you know, or maybe you haven't seen it coming yet. So I would be aware of that. Okay. So for some of you, I feel like what happened was somebody else intervened in your happy situation that we saw here. And it looks like it just came rushing in. It also looks like your person may have gone for money. Now, this is not everybody's story, okay? There's different ways to look at this. And of course, I'm reading for a lot of different people. So take what resonates for you and leave the rest, okay? But it looks like somebody saw their jackpot in a third party kind of situation. And they were having money problems. And I feel like they kind of left in the middle of the night. Or you did, okay? Could be either way. So let's do a little bit of clarification. What is this? Because um, um, this Sagittarius was asking for love reading. So we want to look at it from all angles. What's happening now? What's happened in the past? What's happened in the future? Mostly future, right? You want future predictions. So we will definitely look at that. So why did the Eight of Wands come flipping out? Let's get some clarification on that. Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is clarified by the Eight of Pentacles. <laughs> it's usually a work card. You know, it usually has to do with a business, owning your own business. Um, and I don't know why this came to mind all of a sudden, but I feel like something there for you, Sag, regarding love was like smoke and mirrors, if you know what I mean. Like, it wasn't what it seem to be and I'm literally seeing like a scene from the Wizard of Oz <clears throat> with the wizard when the little Toto pulls the curtain away and you can see who it really is who's the wizard it exposes him oh get such goosebumps right now I <laughs> have like one big goosebump so I feel like for some of you what happened in this love situation that you were in and I'm sorry they're taking me backwards but um, that's how it goes sometimes um, I, I'm getting the sense that your person was exposed for who they really are. Like you saw them clearly. You're like, is that, is that who that is? Is that who they are? You know, I feel like that's, that was that moment, the same moment Dorothy had when she saw who was really behind that curtain. And I feel like <clears throat> for some of you, that's, this was this fast moving thing that blew everything up. So there we go. All right, let's clarify this Eight of Wands. Yeah, everything fell apart. I don't know why they're going backwards. They're totally going backwards, um, Sag, on this because they're giving me here a tower, tower moment. Everything fell apart. The foundations fell out from under it, even when you thought you were going to have better foundations, okay? And you were holding back or somebody was holding back on money. And there was a really angry guy here. Here's a King of Wands reversed. He can be very charismatic and very manipulative when he's reversed and angry. He can have angry outbursts, very fiery kind of person demanding what's what he wants, what he wants you know, um, that sort of thing. So I think that was your past person. Um, let me try to go forward, Satch, <laughs> okay? The cards, you know, they just have a life of their own. They do what they want to do. So that's coming in for Sagittarius futuristically, because I think we covered your situation. This card's coming out too. Let's see, what does it say? This one snuck right out. The teddy bear. Someone is interested in you, a blooming romance. Someone may be flirting with you and wanting to date. Look at this teddy bear card. Okay, so this is the deck I haven't even gotten to yet, and this one just wanted to slip in there. So let me switch over to this deck, and let's get a little bit of information about your upcoming love interest, and then we'll see what else, okay? Upcoming love interest for Sagittarius. Hmm. Yep, here it is third party the snake card and this is having to do with competition the other woman looking over your shoulder you know it's still there Satch. like if you were dealing with that situation 
it's coming up in the cards because it's reflecting somebody's energy because it's still active and I feel like whoever this snake this quote snake was they're still projecting um, their energy at you okay I know they are they're they're going they're behind the scenes <laughs> But they're like, look, I got your person, I won, look at me, look at me, look at us, trying to convince themselves that this is a good thing. I think they got a, you know, a, <laughs> a real prize. <laughs> All right. Here's the dragonfly. Lighthearted and adapt, finding out and changing things, coming, coming to light and healing. And of course, the dragonfly can also be people from spirit, you know, um, someone who passed over, um, someone who's in spirit. So some of you may know who that is. Here we've got the sword and the rose. Okay. This is, oh, you're going to be receiving, you know, something's going to be revealed to you. Okay. Is what this is. Clarity and truth, revelations, honor and protection. Mm -hmm. and determination so you know what they say they say protection you know rejection is protection <laughs> okay so I feel like in this situation you were certainly protected but I feel like the snake is still lingering around watching you um, still maybe showing up in your dreams sometimes like harassing you and things like that but let's see about your future. Per oh, they're telling me that person is still there. It's like their energy is trying to block you from ever being happy. They feel so threatened by you, Sag. Whoever this is, that other party, the other woman that the card showed this, as a snake. I feel like that, and it could go both ways. I mean, it could be a masculine too. I mean, it, you know, take it as it resonates. But this person is so, like, threatened by you and what you had with your person that they don't have. And they can't ever have it because they're a different person you know what was yours was meant for you <laughs> and what was meant for you and your person was meant for you you know and it's like they're on their own with this but they keep in their mind even though they may have quote won they really haven't won in their mind so that's why this keeps getting projected into your reading that's how strong and nasty this energy is and I feel like this person too comes off as being super spiritual <laughs> you know they're just all kumbaya and namaste you know and this person's not it's all a front it's the it's the wizard behind the curtain and it's going to be exposed there's something here that's going to be revealed to you and something you need to know about it okay oh my goodness it keeps on backstabbing here's the backstabbing card and this is about heartbreak and pain Separation and loss, deception, lies, shocking attack. There it is, Satch. Can't make this up. I mean, the cards, there's lots of cards in here about new love, and they're not coming up um, because this person is hijacking your reading just like they hijacked your relationship. Okay, let's go, let me switch decks for a second. I'm going to ask for um, only future. <laughs> Only future. Final words here for Sag. Let's see if anybody new is coming in for you. I'm sorry, whoever's dealing with that situation. It's, it's a very nasty, jealous, um, envious kind of energy. New, <laughs> new love for Sagittarius. Seven of Pentacles. Ah, okay. Something may be developing with this beautiful King of Cups card, guys, okay? So this King of Cups is somebody who is very nurturing, very good listener. Um, usually uh, can be into spirituality. It's usually more into like the arts than into sports, for instance. Not always, but you know, just generally speaking, um, they have a sensitivity about them that I think you're gonna really like. Sometimes it's a water sign, but not always. Yeah, and you're gonna be super happy, Satch. Okay, thank goodness, we cleared enough of that old energy. I think I just had to go there because that's exactly what they were saying, yeah. This is going to be a gift for you. Look at this. This is so cool. 
So something is developing and growing right now. Seven of Pentacles and King of Cups, okay? And then we've got this Six of Pentacles, which is a gift. This meeting this person, or this could be a Queen of Pentacles, you know, take it as it resonates. The card's just, you know, giving me masculine, but um, here's what I'm getting is you, this is a gift from the universe and this is coming in for you, Sag, and there's a lot of happiness. There's a whole lot of happiness with this Nine of Pentacles, okay? And I feel like you're already happy. You know, they showed some happiness here, really significant. You're in a really positive, um, accepting, available kind of spot at this time. And there it is. There is a King of Cups who's coming in. Let's ask Quinn. Let's see if I can get any kind of number date from the cards real quick. <laughs> okay. When is this going to be for Sash? Oh, one. It may be January. Um because I'm only asking for numbers right now, so don't don't worry about it being the magician. But there's a one on that card. Let's see if there's anything else. And here's an ace. Yeah, this is going to be in January. Look at this. So I'm asking for dates. All right, just that's all I was asking for, numbers. They gave me a one and a one. This could also be one one, <laughs> which might be November for some of you. Okay, so next month, I think you can look for your king of cups to be coming in. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm going to stop it there and I'll go do the star seed reading in a different video. Okay. Thanks for coming in. I'll see you guys soon. Let me know what you thought of this. Okay. Bye.